Hi, um, so sorry about the sun. It's kind of really sunny today, but it's super cold and windy outside. Um, so glad I don't have to work. I can stay at home. Um, unlike last Friday, I think it snowed a lot and I had to go to work and I was stuck on the train for like an hour. Uh, it was really bad and I was late to work. Um, yeah, so um, thank God I don't have to go to work today, but it is really nice. It's sunny. Um, it just sucks now because the weather is like, um, if it's sunny outside, then most likely it's freezing cold and windy or it's like um, icy on the road. Like I think Sunday a lot of people fell um, and uh, like even the plane at JFK was just like skid on the runway. So it's just like really dangerous. Um, good thing that um, Sunday night and Monday is was raining. Um, so it kind of melt the snow and melt the ice. And uh, now it's all good outside. Um, but um, like I said, it's either like cloudy, rainy day, but warmer outside or sunny day, but really freezing cold outside. Um, I just can't really have a break with this weird wintry weather in New York this year. Um, but I'm not complaining. I got a um, warm coat that my boyfriend got me. Um, I had that in my haul video, um, the fall haul clothing haul video. Um, that parka, like the green one, um, it was really, it's really, really warm. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like get the hang of like mastering the layering technique at least for work um so i'm pretty set um for winter and i got a whole bunch of like boots for the winter i should uh i should do a winter clothing haul because i did the fall one so i should upload like a winter clothing haul um so you have an idea of like what i got for this winter and uh, how i'm keeping warm and everything but this video is all about the goodies I received in the mail from Gracie21 on YouTube. Um, if you don't know Gracie21, she's one of my subscribers and I'm also a subscriber to her channel. Um, she uploads a lot of um, videos that are very informative, very good, um, such as like unboxing videos and haul videos. Um, most of the videos she does, um, she does a lot of like little black, bla uh, little black bag. Uh, julep um, she introduced me to little black bag and julep uh, nail polishes which is like really cool um, otherwise I wouldn't probably wouldn't hurt you know heard of any of that um, and uh, it's just really nice because I just feel like she genuinely um, come across just like really really um, friendly and really kind person um, she won my jewel mint my jewel mint giveaway my very first giveaway and then after that um i just thought it was really cool because she like she sent me a thank you card um not a lot of people would do that you know if they win giveaways stuff like that so i thought that was really um heartwarming coming from um you know like a, a viewer and then after that i um found out that she also has all those videos cool videos so i subscribed to her channel and ever since uh then you know we start keep you know we kept in touch and she will send me like a care package after my um hospitalization and uh, i just thought that you know she actually really cares um about me about my well-being and not she's not just like you know okay um I'm on YouTube watching videos and then that's that. Um, I that's why I I kind of really appreciate how YouTube brought us together. Um, I just think it's kind of odd because um, I mean YouTube is like for the whole world, and it I mean we're like on <laughs> the either the both end of like United States. Um, we're like kind of far far away from each other, but I mean we never met it or anything. Um, but it's just really cool that we got to um, get to know each other and became like friends um, through YouTube. So I kind of, you know, I really appreciate that fact. And uh, I just like how um, we kept in touch and uh, she sent me, you know, um, packages with, you know, really nicely wrapped little gifts. 
and goodies, um, snacks and things like that. And then she always has really great messages in those greeting cards that she sent me. And um, uh, since I'm not very good at um, like packaging stuff, um, I mean, I can put up like a little uh, gift bag, like a makeup or whatever goodie gift bag thingy. That's what I do now for like holidays for my friends. Um, but in terms of like sending a package and wrapping individual wrapping things individually, I think she's a master of that. She's really great at that, and I think she's just like great at. Um, she has good attention to details. Um, she puts those colorful paper shreds in the box. Uh, everything's protected. Um, I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, so I thought that maybe I can kind of make up that by um, at least you know select some really. Um, pretty like greeting cards and um, I like stickers so um, yeah I know I'm like I'm gonna be 30 this year so it's kind of crazy I'm like still like stickers yeah uh, okay so enough of the blabbing I know I'm just like keep on talking I haven't really talked about um, I really haven't talked to anyone for a while I think um, besides my mom my boyfriend my family during the holidays um, I haven't really talked to I haven't really met up with any of my friends and talked to them so yeah I should really catch up with them um, so anyways um, now move on to the goodies she sent me first of all she sent me this card and it's just really really cute and of course she always has like those heartwarming messages inside and uh, we talk about how we're gonna make a goal kind of like in our bucket list uh, that um, one day we're gonna meet up in Paris because we both like friends we both want to go to Paris and uh, I think that the I think it's just very appropriate to kind of select that spot because we both want to go there and then um, we never met so it'd be the perfect spot to meet up and uh, hopefully that would be like in the very near future and then um oh and then she got me a whole bunch of snacks um she sent me these like snoopy um little like fruit flavor snacks and they're like individually packed and they have little um kind of like a soft chew um like soft chew flavored candies inside um it's really really good it's really yummy i already had one pack um yeah i'm trying not to like eat everything at one sitting like last time um, I think it's better to kind of like slowly tasting it, kind of indulging it um, instead of just like ugh, stuff my whole face with it, right? Um, so I really like the packaging because it's Snoopy. I love Snoopies. Um, so it's really, really cute. And these are great because um, they're individually packed. So I can just put one in my bag and uh, like in between my, um, my jobs, I can, you know, munch on this or if I'm low on sugar or something so I can eat this so I really like this thank you so much she got me this super super cute dancing soul of flower and I was just like oh my god when I saw this I was just like it reminded me of my very first um very first um like sunflower um sound activating dancing sunflower thing that my mom got me um when I was little back in Shanghai and it's just like a, it's it's kind of like same concept except you have to put battery in it and it has like a pair of glasses and then if you clap or something and it will start like dancing um so this kind of remind me of that except this is such cute little version and i like how this has a orange uh, an orange like flower pot base because uh, she knows um i love orange color and anything orange i like how this is dancing solar power um, and then there's like um, three little panel like solar uh, solar chips on top so I'll put this like by my window like right now it's super sunny so it can be charged and uh, if you can see it just like it, it would like move around really cute I love sunflower sunflower is like my favorite flower um, and also sunflowers blo uh, blooms in the summer and since my birthday is in August and like you know it's I just thought it's really appropriate everything's like really cool so I'm really happy that she got me this and this looks so cheerful I mean how can you not feel how can you feel bad like if you stare at this if you look at this when you wake up so um this will kind of be like my cheer up thing in my room 
that every day I wake up, I look at this, and all my sorrows will go away, and I will never have a blue day. So yeah, uh, that rhyme, that rhymes, yeah. <laughs> Cute like EOS lip balms. Um, these are really really great. Um, she got me this mint one. I have a mint one that's almost used up, so this is really great uh, as a backup. And I can use this. Um, I really like the mint one because it's like a sweet mint. It almost like tastes a bit sweet, which is kind of cool. Um, and then this is like a really cute lilac one. I'm not sure what the flavor or scent this is. Maybe it's lavender. And I like how she put like these like gold stickers, smiley sticker face um, on the packaging. I really like these. These are moisturizing and uh, I don't have to like apply like this I can just swipe it once and then it will coat the both top and lower um, bottom you know bottom lips and uh, they have a much like a thicker texture than most lip balms so they actually adhere better and then they they're not greasy or anything I really like these um, if you haven't tried the EOS lip balm definitely give them a try these are really good so thanks a lot and she got me um, something from L'Occitane and this is sort of like a almost like a Christmas ornament, sort of a little um, to go travel sized um, Loxiton hand cream and the foot cream. So I thought that was really cool. I have a little like sample of the hand cream that I'm using right now because I have really um, dry patchy spots on my on the back of my hands for some reason. Um, and I know how she said that she wants to. Um, you know she wants to include some of the stuff that I can use for the cold months in New York because she knows like over here is a lot colder so as always she's being very thoughtful about everything and this is so this is the L'Occitane Shea Travel Treats um, the hand the dry skin hand cream has 20% of shea butter and then the dry skin foot cream has 15% of shea butter and they're each 30 milliliter uh, which is a lot bigger than the one I have. The one I have is like little, this little tube. So yeah, so this is a lot bigger. Let me show you the one that I have. The one I have is like half tube gone. You see how small it is? Um, these are really good for traveling, throwing the bag. Um, I like the L'Occitane hand cream a lot. They're like quite expensive for the full size. But they're really good because they're really thick. But they're not greasy. And they had a very nice, just like a really nice like shea butter smell um which is not overwhelming at all it's just really nice um it sinks in and locks in moisture really really quick so i've never tried the foot cream though um I, i'm always a fan of the hand hand cream um so this is really really great for right now because it's super cold in new york the last item i thought that was really really awesome of her to send me this and uh, I already opened it and took a peek at it. Um, so basically, she said that one of her friends work in, uh, works in Starbucks, and then she wants to send me, you know, some really good pastries. You know those like pastries that Starbucks now they sell, and that you can like microwave and warm it up for like 30 seconds or something, and then it tastes really good once warmed up. I've actually never tried those. Um, I usually just grab a cookies or like a brownie from um, Starbucks. So it's really cool that she sent me um, the pastries. So it's in the box, um, nicely packaged with the Starbucks ribbon. Um, it was nicely tied. Of course, I opened it because I really want to see what's inside. Um, but I still want to share with you all of you guys. And then she put a really cute polar bear stickers. I'm such a sucker for stickers, man. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And I, I like the box because it's like... Um, like a recycling material box so I can definitely like reuse this and inside she got me two pastries from Starbucks so just so you can see look at this yumminess ah! <laughs> that's so awesome it's like I've never really thought about like sending out food I thought those were really cute like yeah I'm like salivating right now because I'm like oh my god I want to eat them right now um I've never actually seen those before, or maybe I never really noticed, um, but I've never seen those before. Um, there are like two pastries inside, and then they both have like crushed up walnuts inside. Is it walnuts or... It's like, I think it's walnut. Um, yeah, I think it's walnuts. 
Um, so this one's like a puffier pastry, so it's kind of like croissant type. I actually really like croissant, so anything that's like puffy pastry, um, I really like that. And then this one is different. This one is almost looking like a little pie, like a mini pie. So that's really interesting too. And this one has a lot more walnuts. Um, I'm not sure if these are like super sweet. I'm not um, a super sweet like a dessert person, but I don't think they would be like really sweet. Starbucks stuff are not that sweet, right? Um, but anyways, I can't wait to try these. Um, she told me that I need to pop these in the microwave or I think microwave, right? Or conventional oven like for 30 seconds um, to warm up so I can eat them. And uh, my mom's a huge fan of walnuts. She always tells me walnuts are really, really good for you. Um, so I'm going to share these with my mom. So she can have half, I can have half, and then we can eat together. Thank you so much for being such a great friend, um, understanding, being so kind and patient, and uh, continuing support me on YouTube and also in my real life um, and in my life, you know. Um, I really appreciate this friendship and this means so much to me. Thank you so much, Grace. Um, and uh, I look forward to another great year on YouTube and uh, uh, with you exchanging mails and packages and also watching your videos. So thank you so much again. Thank you everybody for watching uh, and Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I know Chinese New Year is not um, here yet. Um, this year's Chinese New Year is gonna be on January uh, January January 31st, and it's going to be the year of the horse. So it's supposed to be like a pretty good year for everybody. Um, horses like symbolize um, going forward, and you know like success and uh, um, just like fighting and just like basically just you know charging ahead and just like really just reaching for your goals and then achieve everything and also i'm gonna be 30 years old so yeah i really looking forward to that <laughs> oh yeah i wish everyone a great 2014 best luck to everyone and uh, wish you guys good health happiness lots of laughs and joy and uh, god bless you guys and uh, thank you so much i I'll see you in the next video. Bye.